All right, so welcome everyone. This is the day 15 of the 30 days sock challenge. I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, if you haven't joined the challenge yet, you can check out the link in the description below to register yourself. Uh, if you haven't subscribed the channel, I highly suggest you to subscribe because this way you and also press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we add and I publish a new video in this series. Okay, so let's get started. Let me show you the actual challenge itself. This is the day 15. And yeah, so this is this is the challenge. You can see it's a suspicious network connection. What is the incident response process you have you should follow when you see some suspicious outbound network connection? Of course, you know the process which starts with the preparation where you make sure you have all the commands, utility all the tools available usually edr tool or sim tools are enough we are going to make it a vanilla native we are going to use the linux uh, pre-built utility tool to detect such attacks and also perform the incident response why we are doing it because first i want to make it beginner level second i want you to understand how exactly this works behind the scene when you use the edr tool or some advanced tool as well once you understand this, irrespective of what kind of a tool you're using, maybe CrowdStrike, Windows Defender, Microsoft Defender, or Sentinel-1, Carbon Black, you will understand what's the process. You will become platform agnostic, right? Next, we have detection and analysis, where you detect the suspicious process or certain IP address. Uh, you perform the containment, you basically contain the attack. Maybe you isolate the machine from the network, or maybe isolate or maybe uh, restrict through the firewall rules or then you perform the eradication maybe delete a suspicious file or stop a suspicious process right and then you perform the recovery let's talk about the lab setup you need a ubuntu machine even if you have a kali machine that's fine you just need one machine now let's talk about uh, talk about the simulating the attack so we'll use the no hop Hub, sorry, no hub command. This basically execute the command even if you log out the machine. Even if you log out or you close the terminal, the command will still be running. And you basically run a curl command uh, for a specific IP address. I just use a random IP address, so that's fine. Uh, it's a TCP connection on port 80 because it's HTTP. And uh, we are going to keep it running, right? And then once, assuming this is malicious IP address, right? So you can also go to virus total website and submit this IP address to see the level. Of course, this is not blacklisted at this moment. I just use a random public IP address. So this is something you may be doing it in the real world. Okay. So I'll run the command and then I'll go and run the netstat command to see uh, if there's any specific connection or network connection TCP three by handshake being getting established with this IP address, right? It might not be established, assuming, but it may be there. So I'll run the net stack. I can simply run the net stack, but I'll run the minus plan. It's basically keyword where P stand for process ID, L stand for uh, socket number, A, A here stands for connection and listening port. Then we have N, it shows the numerical address uh, where we don't resolve the IP address. And then we have T, which shows only TCP connection. Okay, and then we are going to look at the process, right? So let me keep it on the right. Okay, and um, let me maximize a little. Yeah, perfect. Let's copy this command. Running. Perfect. It's done. Now let's run the net stack. Net stack minus plant. Okay, and then this is where we can see. Because you see, we have 45, 13, 220, 98. Perfect. Can you see this? This is where we have a foreign address, 98. This is where with port 80, the connection has been established. And it's SYN send, means we have sent the SYN request. Um, then if everything goes well, then we'll be getting a SYN ACK acknowledgement plus SYN. And finally, we'll be sending the ACK. Okay. Now, this for us this is suspicious traffic we have we have uh, did a research you can just copy this ip address you can copy this site where it is yeah 
copy this IP address, go to virustotal.com, enter the IP address. This will tell you if uh, how many antivirus detected this to be a suspicious. If it is a suspicious uh, or blacklisted IP address or a you know command and control IP address, whatever it is, whatever the name you you can go for, then you have to perform the incident response process. Okay, you can also grab the process ID so you can run the PSAUX, then grab with the IP address. So I'll grab with the IP address 4513298. Perfect. Uh, I don't see the. Give me one second. PSAUX, PSAUX, then grab. And then we'll enter the IP address. Sorry. Let's enter this IP address quickly. Let's see. Perfect. Can you see we have multiple process being running with the curl command? Of course, this is the command we ran earlier as well with the curl command, right? You see this curl and HTTP, and we are running the ping for this, right? That's a directory basically. Right. So we can see there are multiple process running because for us, this is a suspicious blacklisted IP address. So as a part of incident response, we'll have to contain, we'll have to eradicate it. Right. So in order to do that, we'll have to first kill the process. Okay. This, the first thing is uh, what you see on your left. This is the process ID. You see this. These are all your process ID. Okay. So let's try to kill all of them. Kill 136910. Perfect. It's done. 137371. Kill. I think it wasn't done. Maybe it got closed automatically, but let's verify. Okay, there are still a few more. Kill minus 9. Uh, one three seven three eight nine okay it's got kill nine zero and then one three seven four you see this one three seven four seven four zero five zero six and then zero eight let's see Let's see. Okay, there are still few. Uh, I think one seven three seven one is still there. So seven three seven three seven one. You can you can keep doing it. Still, we have one more. I'll leave it to you. You can follow the same process. So this is called um, you know incident response process. As a next step to keep to perform the containment to make sure uh, you know the connection should not establish to the same IP address you can create a firewall rule as well with UFW. So what you can do is you can run UFW, deny, okay, out, outbound connection to this IP address, right? So I can enter this IP address, perfect. Now, if I go to UFW status, perfect. Can you see this, this IP address? We got a, now, even if you want, you cannot reach to this IP address because all the outbound connection from this machine has been blocked, okay? So what I want from you is share me the snapshot of this rule, UFW rule, share me the snapshot of the process uh, PS command showing this specific suspicious command uh, IP address, share me the netstat command with this IP address uh, with the curl command, okay? Uh, make sure you share in the specific uh, channel itself in the day 15 over here, right? Perfect. So I'll see you in the next video then. Thank you.